I'm I'm loving like the the very fact that we are see approach the game right now. Different ways. It's also a good bit of a change. It's a good change to see Brian on support. Back then he used to be very famous. By Dragoon Fanatic. <laughs> cool. cool. A lot of gaming responses. Hope happen. Alright, bright guys. I mean, Fnatic versus Fire Dragoon. You have basically young talent versus almost entirely young talent. One. Best I like. Okay, I'm just gonna introduce the teams, you know, DJ playing on the Tuscar for Fnatic, Ohio on the Beastmaster, Abed on the Medusa, Pylai Dai playing on the Ogre Magi, with Eternal Envy playing on the Berserk, Died Kong playing on the Puck, Bra, Mr. Brian, Lothembra playing on the Doom, Alacrity playing on the Anti Mage, Yang on the Shadow Shaman, and Ajit playing on the Razor. So, Alacrity is actually a 9k MM. That could he does. Never actually get to see. Don't forget, this is a team where you had Def 8.2k, Adam, five, Foster. Now that they left, Fire Dragoon. You know. Look, um, a bit. Rude. All right, so. Tuscar block, basically. All cost of a sh Tuscar is such a f now for such defense purposes. Such really cause Boris punch, kick, Bloodseeker, just for the memes. They will actually put the anti mage in the mid. Safe lane. Takes do so much. I'm very split on the split shot because the outgoing damage to actual targets, you know. Not fun to me that you can't toggle it any <laughs> Yeah, Ajit going up solo here against Ohio and DJ gonna get caught by the shards, boss going him slow. Gonna be hunted down. Does with the boots, so five, he'll survive. Top lane you wanna put pressure and envy. Kong and Brian. But being a bristleback, he should be fine. Casual mango. Hai and Yang just having the battle of the ogre. Do you remember when Shadow Shaman's base damage was first buffed two patches back? All the support players were like, oh yes! Now oh, I get to harass you. Consequences, right? Like the link to DJ. Casual 15 down. Well, otherwise, CS wise, it's still pretty tight. 6 and 1, 6 to 1. Granted, top lane, you know. Eternal Envy running circles around Brian and Kong, but not in a good way. He's actually being forced out of the lane. There's just so much pressure. And it goes back once again, even if the Fnatic roster which had Excalibur, and that's where you realize that you know, Envy likes these solo laners now, which allows the supports to prioritize Ohio and Abed more. But, okay. I don't know damage actually from Envy. He's got Might even get the kill here if he can find one more. Wasting all the mana in bottom lane, Ohio getting the first belt into Ajit. Oh, T2. Oh. Right, so first blood already going to Ohio means that this bottom lane's a nice win. I wonder at this point, do you consider putting the Doom back in the bottom lane? Not sure if you guys know about the faster thing, but like Call of the Wild's cooldown is longer than before. So that's why now when you lose your summons, it hurts you a lot more. Compared to before where you could just like summon two boards at the same time, right? Brian taking a lot of spikes, picks up a stick at last, you know, and bamming these spikes out. Judging from the heroes, just from the nature of the heroes alone, it's very hard to get any. 
Zachary will actually be forced to back out. The snake's almost bringing him low. Well, he actually ticked down. Ooh, he actually ends up going without the pile. I die. Bottom lane, they did trap DJ, but, you know, he's a tanky warrior. So you don't have to worry about dying there. Fire Dragoon actually loses out in the laning phase. And two down. CS wise, this is uh, getting And anti mage is eight. Game is hard. I also noticed that a couple of players. Oh, I know he's also a bit more. Perhaps he didn't understand. Last my few build. Remember, like maybe two years back, you know, Filipino players, instead of Puck, you see Razor being played by the hot pick. And we're chasing them, Brian. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't think he wants to dive the tower for this. Could, in fact. Kong just playing around with Envy to up the zone amount, but they're very tanky. We're back at this point. And actually winning this 2v1 lane. Lakuri will get a couple hits in onto our bed. So 9k versus 10k. Oh, Lakuri, you don't want to be there. Yeah, this is a very scary lane. Picks up a, a belt of Ogre Strength just so he gets some extra stats. Do miss the PMS. Watch it. Well... DJ, they don't have good disables. I was having a great time in the half now. Goblin 4 in the CS. A bit behind the Razor, but you know, considering you're in the off lane, you're happy. They're trying it. Okay, Static Link. Shots trying to block, but DJ going for the snowball play. Quick the quick stun. Plasma field damage from Ajit will be enough. The Shackle catches in Ohio, and he will end up going down to Ajit as well. Double kill for the Razor. And Fire Dragoon will actually have a bit more momentum catching up in the laning phase. Two for two. Very nicely done. So that progress pretty much gone. At least now. So I wouldn't say completely gone. Just evened out. 30 and 13. He's had, a, he's had a great lane, you know. The dream lane for a puck. You want to make sure that puck has a good start. Fail. Plenty of synergy which have. And I feel like there's a huge power spike which they contest the rune. DJ, you don't want to be that snowball play. Where is he going to go? They take the bounty rune. The shots. Oh, very nice. Wow. The preemptive shots in the snowball to block him off so they can't chase him with three heroes. Uh, there's. Tiny, I wouldn't say 200 IQ plays, but uh, definitely over 170 IQ plays. To make sure you don't feed. Lakuri will be forced to jungle. He's having a dream about an Iron Talon right now. Promise you that. So then they really want to get these kills, so Ohio and DJ, they have to play much safer in this lane. You know, middle lane, Alacrity. No, Bane's not even in this, in this game, but this guy is a nightmare, that's for sure. So, Bra and Yang. Help that anti mage out, they need to help the anti mage. I almost feel like if you had left Alacrity in safe lane and put... But I like this shackle. They caught the Ogre Magi. So fly out. Pilot died. We go trade a couple of hits here. But Pilot died. Throwing whatever damage he can out. He's going to end up going down to the Ether Shock from Yang. And, you know, more pressure into Ajit. Level 3 Static Link. Uh, Abed's bullying Alacrity at this point, you know. Legend 3. King Divine. Badge is also just four, three, and two. Five Dragoon are actually tiny hits up now, tiny advantage in the kill score. Said you are just high to get that level six, then things might get a bit different, you know. That's for me. On the boards, it's always true. As you played. Be a medallion, yeah. Medallion to Solar Crest. That's gonna give him more potential on the lane. 
Yo, Kong, you know, he has that level 6 now. He's actually level 7 and a half, almost level 8. Guys, high in the levels. Haven't talked about Envy yet for a while. That Sol Ring, 48 and 1. Second in the CS chart. He's a hard kill. But, you know, we've sold a lot of HP. Perhaps they could think about it here. But they need to bring in the Shadow Shaman as well. They know that he has no mana, popping the coil. If we procs it, he might actually end up dying here. Young is coming as well. Eat the shock to throw it out, and damn, he breaks the coil so Kong gets it. Two. Right, Dragoon, they're making the right moves. Killing of Envy. At this point, we have the jungling anti range, the new C, Southeast Asia, Calibration meta. Of course, on a serious note, that's where he, he is having a hard time. He will actually get be better farm, safer farm in the jungle compared to lanes against this Ogre Magi and Medusa. We're putting a ton of pressure onto him. Middle tower has fallen. Way of our bed. Top of the net worth. Nice. Should we try and build his way into drums? We'll probably try to pressure this bottom tier one. Of course, you want a Shadow Shaman to get that level six really close. And our bed is farming. We're going to have the Mask of Manners up right about now. Of you, thank you for starting to tune in. Share the chat channel. I want to miss the Galaxy Battles today. It's going to be an awesome day for the Southeast Asian qualifiers. Of course, there's only one way to find out if you're potentially going to get the Mineski versus Fnatic rematch. I won't be casting that, but Lu Luminous Inverse will. And you don't want to miss that on the main Beyond the Summit channel. Regeneration. So not yet level 6. You can see Pilot Eyes actually out-leveled him. Gets one multicast out. That damage, Alacrity, he's okay to trade hits, but the Ogre's tanky, you know, he doesn't really care. So even if he did have Mana Void, he would not get close to killing this Ogre Magi at all. But Abed coming in. Ding, 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 he's dead. Pop in, they will try to pressure Eternal Envy using the Coil. Yang is there, popping the Serpent Wards, they won this Bristle back kill. Facing his back to them. And for the Snowball save, and down goes Yang. Salving up, and that'll be the Serpent Wards wasted. Once again, the power of the Tuscar. DJ. Making these plays, you can always count on him. Fnatic. Low pride, Kappa. Razor as well, usually you expect him to do okay. I expected him to do a bit better. He got the Shadow Shaman. They will put a ton of heroes here on the bottom lane. They want to pressure the tier 1 tower to take away more map control. Hopefully get Envy a bit more free space, build into some tanky utility items. Talk quite fast, Alpha Wolf is there as well. Do worry at this point that the Fire Dragoon and Team Mage will not be able to catch up. He does pick up his threads. Threads. Going to DJ Plasma Field comes out, burning all that mana, whatever he can, stealing some damage with the static link. But if Abed coming in, you know, they, they don't want to look at that ugly. Pyro already completed. Dalian, Shadow Blade on the way. Nice ward, so that's gonna scout out the puck coming in. Mm, That'll be a bit hindered, but they know that there's at least one here in this bottom lane, especially all being thrown out as well. Hellbear Smasher with Ohio is actually pretty strong. The smoke will break to put the ward down. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ohio. Yeah, that was not... That was not what you were looking for when you placed that ward down. Alright, so, you know, smoke broken. At least Ohio tanks the smoke. And a bit more space created for Fire Dragoon. But as all that is happening, you know, I'll bet... An anti mage. Well, yeah, you know that's all I can say. Hmm. Like right now, if you're if you're fire dragoon, you're thinking very hard. How are you going to create space for the anti mage to farm? He's going to take a while, and even when he gets the battle fury, he needs a bit more time. If you know what I mean. But okay, throwing out the axes, Brian tanks both of them, the extra amp. They could turn for this if they want to, but Brian has to do.
Yeah, they have the Serpent Wards off cooldown again. They could look to try and make a kill happen here. Eat the shock just to clear out the park. But if you're fanatic, you know you can kind of take a time chill first. You just get the first. I am this. Static links. All the deeps. You know, Ajit wants some of it. He wants to kill Envy. This is the guy who replaced him. Think about it. Khan coming in at the coil. The dagger already being shown. Brian is there with the Doom as well. There's two ultimates being thrown out. They have the sh Okay, Shackle. And they save Envy. Yep, Snowball save. Oh, right. He actually might survive this. Never mind. He's dead for sure. And okay, he's going to go down. But the region. Okay, never mind. Pi Pi Pi, caught me between three heroes, what do you do? DJ can't save him, there's no snowball. But Abed in the middle of all this, I'm just gonna steal all that damage, sucky sucky sucky. Abed, uh, yeah, you hurt like a hit in at this point. But now the rest of Fnatic, you know, the enforcements are here, they know Ajit's there. With the shots blocker will be there as well. No, Ohio going for the roar, Ajit probably will die here. Abed still doing a free damage away. Mount of Void comes down, not much damage. But Abed going for a bit more, he's... Brian a bit low, but it will be a 2 for 2 trade. I don't know, I felt that fight was a bit anticlimactic. I thought it would have been led to more, more deaths, but... Okay, when you commit so many ultimates onto this annoying Bristleback, and now when he completes that Hood of Defiance, you know for sure that by the next time, Fire Dragoon, they're gonna have even bigger troubles, taking even longer to kill this Bristleback. Fnatic just have very tanky heroes. He's okay to stand at the front lines. Right, Spain, sucky sucky into Eternal Envy, breaks the coil, gets the stomp as well, Plasma Field flies out, Eternal Envy, minus 224, but they just can't kill this guy, and then you brought three heroes. Yeah, that's, uh, that says something, you know. That's just basically, uh, the warning bells are ringing, and not in a good way. If you're Fire Dragoon, that's like your phone going on snooze mode for the next half an hour or more. Ohai wants to Shadow Blade first, and then he can start to try for these pickoffs and Alacrity, perhaps. But, okay, let's look at the Fire Dragoon side. What do they need to do? Right, from their perspective, this is what they see. Not exactly good around the middle. On the plane, placing more emphasis on the top lane, perhaps. On the side, they have very good deep wards. Considering with their roster, their draft, they can actually smoke up very easily. Oh, DJ, stealing the battle in this rune. Just casually walks up. He's like, alright, free rune. Placed earlier by Ohio, you know, when you die but you get good rewards, it's, it's kind of worth it. Mine. And then we now build us way into a radiance. That's going to make things. I would. I can't even say what's a, what's a word to replace harder. You know, that's there's no other word besides it. difficult. But they will have an amazing uphill task in trying to kill that Bristleback later on once he actually builds into that Radiance. Vanguard and Hood of Defiance. There ever was a hero which Ice Frog, I felt like he took. It would be Bristleback. Let's just make this. Let's Thank you. So that he, he turns around. He's reduced about like 50%, 40% damage. Right? Throwing out the snot, he's digging his nose as much as he can. He desperately wants to throw more of those out, but Arjun's just running away with those phase boots and drums. The early fighting game items at this point. Ohio will try to pressure out the bottom lane. They want to try and pressure the Alacrity. They brought one more hero. I think they actually could kill him off. It's only a level 2 spell shield. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Five Fnatic, despite being two kills behind in the kill score, they currently have a 4,000 gold advantage, just to show you. And this will be tricky, you know. Ohio's actually going in for the roar. Ooh, he wanted Alacrity. I actually have to worry. Alacrity wants to go for the kill here. They have the Kong. Ooh, Kangaroo with the two-man coil. Going for the TP out of Ohio. He's actually going to get out, I think, here. Warrior's Punch. DJ, he will be the sole casualty, but, you know... Support lives never mattered in the first place. 
bad draw MMR, it doesn't matter. He's going to try and block himself off in the shot, but Arjit will claim himself that kill. Four heroes. And they got one, but better than nothing. I bet coming to say hi to Alacrity. You know, usually if you're anti mage and you have decent level of farm, you see Dusa, you're like, oh yes! But oh! The snakes! Will it be enough? Yes! The ignite! I did not expect that. Looks like they will pressure the top tier one, take an easy tower. Back going for Shiva's God. Alright, you got the shotgun to Ogre Magi. What next? They bring in Kong as well. The stun will be thrown on the Shadow Shaman. Mystic Six to shoot them back. Four heroes and five Dragoon. They have a good ward there on this cliff. They can think to turn and fight. I bet has the Stone Gaze. Hurricane Plike already completed and he's gonna make his way into Ayo Skadai. Gaudi. I'll pressuring at the bottom tier too. Nice and easy again once more with the alpha wolf and a dog. I I never thought of this as a pig. This looks like a dog to me. Ah, look at it. Oh, one of those lions from the Lion King. Pretty much the same. Or well, hyena at best. Top lane. Okay, no, that. Good, but Pilot I can't stop him by himself. He's too fat. He can't fit in between it. But Kong. Oh, the coil. He saw Ohio there. Alright, Ohio should be dead. The snowball save, bringing bring him all the way to the easy camp. Ohio's gonna survive this. Kong, they can't kill Ohio. DJ with the plays. Brian will eat the creep. Alacrity comes in. He has a mana void, but he won't go for the Stone Gaze will be popped. Looks like they want to try and fight here. Shots almost blocking off Brian. DJ God. Top lane, Pilot is gonna TP out from RJ. Won't even go for static link. Won't try. Uh, DJ. The whole bunch of course, Alacrity, every. So that he can scale better. Trying to outplay this Medusa, of course. You guess. I just want to just, like, figure out who has the better late game. It could really go either ways at this point. It's all about who's able to manipulate the lanes a bit better. But... Ohio now going to the Necro books. Yang's coming in. Oh, he has a blink. I didn't know he had that. Shackle. Hex. And then we get some venison steak. Courtesy of Ohio. Oh wait, no, Venison is deer. Oh sh Button? I failed biology. Bottom tower is under Guess this is why I'm Harold. Be playing out with Alacrity. He's re very close as well to the Shiva's guard. He's gonna dive under the tower. This pilot dies there as well. They look they just need the stun. Do they have enough damage there? It's the question. Alacrity would take quite low. They bring in the double TPs. Brian, he could use a Doom onto one of the supports, triumphantly kill you into Pilot Eye. He had the Hellbear nuke, and Pilot Eye went up going down. Pacing off the Envy. Yeah, you don't want to use the Doom on. Trying to use the Doom on a Bristleback is like telling a smoker. Young, he's quite fat compared to the. Expected the pause for a doom. Regeneration. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Just with deer meat, right? Ajit will build his way into Stanch and Yasha. Considering how things are, five dragoons to items top lane. They will try to. Yep, they will commit the doom onto the envy. Roar comes out as well. And they actually will get the return kill to Kong first. Gonna try and trade here, but looks like yeah, you made a mistake. You don't want to doom the, you don't want to doom that Bristle back. And bra, he will get hunted down as Envy finds himself the double kill. What now, chat? And Pylai die. He's gonna be hunted down. Shackled up. Mana void. Alacrity will find at least one. He can't even get the Pylai die kill. But I bet that with the Eye of Scotty, Eye of Skadai. Young will end up going down. Three heroes dead. Fnatic. 7,000 gold advantage, and they will push to take this tier 2 tower nice and easy. Middle tower has fallen. Butterfly on the way up for R.
Now they can do Roshan next. Ohio just gonna try and this shoot. Pretty much has his necro. But he actually chooses to go for the blink dagger first. Extra initiation. You need that against the anti mage. So that's that's always pretty good. Die for staff on the way. Abed. I mean, I talked about him going to butterfly. Anti mage still trying to build his way into Manta style. Razor. Well, I'm not sure what he wants to do, but you definitely don't want to walk into Abed. You know, ugly chick, you run the other way. Simple as that. Laws of man. They'll go straight into the Roche pit. Hawk, they have such good vision around this pit. There's no way that Fire Dragoon can find an angle. Did you use the ult to try and scout things out? Perhaps sit it going for a steal. Yang? Oh, Ohio's there. Roar. Medallion. Yeah, chop him down. That's right. Fire Dragoon don't have the best team fight at high ground. I would say they have the Doom. But once again, I feel like they've just been outdrafted by the... But no, they should be able to try and push high ground. They have an alpha wolf, extra damage into the tower. Tank up a bit. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Should be easy. Ajit just gonna clear out the creep wave. They'll take things and back up a bit. Alacrity, at least he did get the tier one tower top, you know. So that's good. Got it out by Ajit, but I'm pretty sure they know that they can't take him. But at this point in the game, because Envy is qu quite fat, you know, when you have an Aegis, Shiva's God, Vanguard, Hood, he's gonna hunt Brian down and turn into a golden sheep. You know, if you guys ever want more girls, Ice Frog to design something, items where instead of hexing him into, hex him into a hand, grab it. That's there, bro. That's that's for Valentine's Day next year. Coming to you 2018. Spoiler alert. Just saying. But, okay, now with all these heroes, they have the Aegis Carrier in the middle lane as well. They should be able to take the tier 3 tower. I bet Mask of Madness, he takes this nice and easy. Tier 3 tower dead. Melee Brax also about to fall here. Fire Dragoon, how do you defend this? They will go for the initiation under the two-man coil. Can they kill? Oh, they trap him inside the Serpent Wards, but can they kill Medusa? Medusa, oh, actually, whoa, the Snowball save. Once more from DJ. And Eternal Envy on the killing spree. Two heroes dead. Mana Void and the Medusa, but she doesn't actually care at this point. Khan going in for the silence, trying to get a couple of nukes off, but this Dusa is tanky. That's going to be a two-for-one trade, only losing the Beastmaster in the process. Yo stepped up into the air, they've caught the bristle back, they will have to cancel the TPs, Fnatic are forced to go back in against their will, but they say screw it, they want to fight, come at me. And uh, no, this is like that, that practical bully who's like, I want to fight you, come at me, and when you actually turn around for the fight, he says, uh, I'll get you next time. Under but 12 to 11, Fnatic... Selfish. Four items are looking quite impressive as well. Besides, I mean, considering Fire Dragoon, they didn't seem that poor, but it's like it's just the nature of the heroes. Said from the draft alone, you know, Alacrity, it's very hard to fight an anti mage into this draft in the first place. Like, Bristleback safely and just wrecked that top lane. He didn't really die except just at one, one time I believe, where they had to rotate heroes to the top. Up, oh, wait. The anti mage just shut up. Alacrity is going to need to pull out that 10k MMR, 9k MMR plays. Not, but I'm not sure at this rate. What? Bottom lane, they will be able to push the tier one tower or, or I perhaps. Go up. Dublin wards off cooldown as well. Top shrine is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower. Thank you. Yeah. Not enough to beat legend legendary Abed. 
They should be able to take the tier one tower at least. Die, double damage, and the butterfly now complete on Abed. Uh. Okay. Radiance top tower has fallen. I honestly don't think they come back at this point. One-sided, but that's just the harsh truth. Eternal Envy will be forced after one. Only a tiny bit of damage. Shiva's got walking the front lines. He wants to fight. Abed's happy to trade, getting a three-man coil. But what else can be done? They used to do Medusa, Snowball, and Brian goes down immediately. This Medusa does way too much damage. Standing, he's getting doomed up. Yeah, this is... They just lack a ton of damage. Aegis will expire, but Fnatic are just walking around the enemy base saying, Okay, cool story, bro. Cool story. Cool beans. Standing in the front lines, one more Yosef to him to the end. He will lose a ton of his damage, but... Warpath stacks piling up, he can still tank. The point of him picking the Bristle back is mostly just to tank. Yosef does so much damage. Freak Wave isn't there yet, but can he break, can he break back to protection? Serpent Watch being... Prior Dragoon at this point are kind of panicking. They just do whatever they can. Think of it as game one warm-up. It's like PUBG, you know, you drop into school, you don't expect to win. Just want to get a hang. Like, even if you're Fire Dragoon right now, you just want to discuss what you could have done better and reset for game two. Anti Mage Girl. Hawk. They should be able to take the tier 3 tower nice and easy. Vagra creeps as well. Ignite. Flying it onto Brian. B tanks up the tower. Yeah. AFK Ember. But this should be the melee barracks down, should be the Megas. Full into Rex is pushing in, going for the two and coil accurately goes straight to the back line. He wants to jump into Ohio, but the once more the defensive snowball save! DJ! How many times are you gonna keep making these plays? And Fire Trigger just can't do anything. The roar into Alacrity can it kill him off. Don't guess it's gonna be used. Alacrity will actually blink out. Ajit gonna be caught here by Albert. Looking at the backline, Alacrity, he wants to use that mana, but he wants to kill Pylai Die. He's struggling to kill Pylai Die, will get the kill. Ajit goes down, GG will be called. Snowball play, Alacrity goes down, 9k AM, down 2 for 1 trade. Going for Brian. Stumped to the ground and 30 minutes in, Fnatic take the game nice and easy for game one.